welcome to the session on drug absorption polymorphism and amorphism learning objectives you will able to enlist various physicochemical factors affecting to drug absorption you will able to define polymorphism you will able to differentiate crystalline and amorphous form of drug you will able to understand effect of polymorphism and amorphism on dissolution of drug you will able to explain hydrates and solvents before that you should know what is mean by the absorption look at the figure when the drug is given by oral route of administration after dissolution through gut wall it reaches to the hepatic portal vein to the liver from liver it get distributed all over the body that is systemic circulation so the drug absorption is irreversible movement of drug from site of administration to the site of measurement that is known as the drug absorption now we will see the factors which are going to affect the absorption of a drug let us move towards the physical chemical properties of the drug solubility and dissolution rate it is one of the important factor which is going to affect the absorption then particle size and effective surface area then polymorphism and amorphism then hydrates and solvents salt form of drug the ph partition hypothesis which we are going to consider the dissociation constant and gastrointestinal ph then the lipophilicity permeability of the drug and the stability of the drug so these are the physical chemical properties of the drug which are going to affect the absorption of a drug from oral route of administration let us move towards the one of the physical chemical factor that is the polymorphism and amorphism so what is a polymorphism when a substance exists in more than one crystalline form the different forms are designated as polymorphs and the phenomenon is known as the polymorphism it is divided into these polymorphs as a inane heterotropic and monotropic it is possible to detect the polymorphs by using x-ray crystallography furthermore the polymorphs are divided into the stable polymorphs and metastable polymorphs so what are the stable polymorphs which properties it has so stable polymorphs has lower energy state it has the higher melting point and the least aqueous solubility whereas the metastable polymorphs has high energy state low melting point and higher aqueous solubility almost more than 60% of drugs which are available in the market for the human being are from the metastable category they are having ability to convert from metastable form into the stable polymorphs so there is need to add the certain stabilizers which prevents the conversion of metastable form into the stable form for example chloramphenicol palmitate it is available in the four different forms that is chloramphenicol palmitate a chloramphenicol palmitate b chloramphenicol palmitate c and chloramphenicol palmitate d 
From this, the chloramphenicol palmitate B is the active form. So this is about the polymorphism. So in all, the metastable polymorph it shows good aqueous solubility than the stable polymorph. Let us move to towards amorphism. Amorphous form of drug which has no internal crystal structure represents higher energy state and greater aqueous solubility than the crystalline form. So it indicates that the amorphous form shows good solubility and dissolution than the crystalline form due to the higher energy state. For example, amorphous form of novacin is 10 times more soluble than the crystalline form. This order of dissolution of different solid from forms of the drug is amorphous form of drug shows greater solubility and dissolution than the metastable form and the stable form. Moving towards the hydrates and solvates. Hydrates and solvates, these are the adducts, that is the stoichiometric type of adduct where the solvent molecules are incorporated in the crystal lattice of the solid. It is called as the solvate. When the solvent is in association with the drug, is the water, then it is known as the hydrate. That is the, it is known as the hydrate. For example, amoxicillin, it is available in the monohydrate form as well as the trihydrate form. Generally, hydrate shows less solubility than the anhydrous form. The organic solvates have greater solubility than the non-solvates. For example, chloroform solvates of grisofulvin is more water soluble than their non-solvate so forms. So this is about the pseudopolymorphism. Thank you very much. Hope uh, you will find uh, information about the polymorphism, amorphism, hydrates and solvate is useful to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.